Well, of course, files and secrecy of a much different kind have dominated global headlines for months, all to do with bombshells dropped by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. Today, he did it again. Senior Washington correspondent Neil McDonald has the story. Neil. Well, President Obama once dismissed Edward Snowden as nothing more than a young hacker, Peter, and the White House has been squirming ever since. Again today, a Snowden revelation forced the administration to speak about something it clearly does not want to discuss. We, like other nations, gather foreign intelligence uh, because it is in our national security interests to do so. How that would justify tapping German Chancellor Angela Merkel's cell phone, Carney didn't explain. But that's exactly what Germany now believes the U.S. National Security Agency did. For us, spying on close friends and partners is totally unacceptable. It undermines trust and this can harm our friendship. Merkel herself said the same in German, unpacified by a phone conversation with Obama yesterday. Today, Germany summoned the American ambassador in Berlin to complain, just as France summoned the American ambassador in Paris last week over U.S. spying, just as Brazil's leader recently canceled a state visit to Washington, and just as Mexico's authorities are angry about U.S. eavesdropping on their leadership. In Washington, Obama's spokesman danced around the matter. I just can't, uh, you know, answer those questions. Yes, said Carney, the president is aware Merkel grew up in the surveillance police state of East Germany. Yes, the president knows these episodes are damaging. Ultimately, though, he said the reality is this. We obviously gather foreign intelligence uh, much as other nations do. Edward Snowden, meanwhile, spoke out recently from his refuge in Russia with this description of American intelligence. A sort of dragnet mass surveillance that puts entire populations under sort of an eye that sees everything, even when it's not needed. And more proof of that surfaced today. The Guardian newspaper published another Snowden document, this one showing that the National Security Agency secretly eavesdropped on 35 world leaders using private numbers supplied by U.S. government officials. The document added, Peter, that those wiretaps didn't produce much in the way of useful intelligence. Thanks, Neil. Neil in front of a pink White House tonight, cancer awareness promotion.